Welcome back to uh, Physics 3740 at the University of Utah. Uh, in this lecture, we will continue with our discussion of the harmonic oscillator. And um, I'm going to give a brief review of where we left off Excuse me. Um, at the end of the last lecture, where we introduced the harmonic oscillator. So remember that um, we, we uh, writing the Hamiltonian operator like this. 1 uh, p squared over 2m plus 1 half m omega squared x squared. This is the uh, kinetic energy term. This is the potential energy term. And um, we, re we rewrite like we re rewrite that um, Hamiltonian in this form. And then we introduced the raising and lowering operators uh, a plus and a minus um, that take on this form. Uh, it's a, a normalization constant out front that basically makes them unitless uh, and then uh, a plus is minus i times the um, momentum operator p plus m omega times the position operator x and a minus is just or the lowering operator is just uh, the same thing but with a plus sign instead of the um, in front of the uh, momentum operator p okay and what we what we found was that if you um, if you combine uh, the, the lowering and raising operator this way, a minus a plus, um, and you realize that the this quantity xp minus px, remember these are operators, uh, the, this is the commutator of x and p, and we showed that that is equal to i times h bar, and that allows us to write a minus a plus like this when we re and when we re rearrange that we get uh, the Hamiltonian another way to writing the Hamiltonian operator is equal to h bar omega times the uh, r lowering operator times the raising operator minus a half okay and uh, similarly we didn't show this but you can show this uh, in the same exact way that if you um, that you can also write the Hamiltonian operator as h bar omega times uh, a a plus a minus the raising operator the lowering operator plus a half so here we have plus a half um, here we have minus a half okay <clears throat> and so we have these two new ways of writing the Schrodinger equation which we just uh, discussed and that's basically where we left off the last time so what is it what exactly um, uh, does this do for us okay so now we're going to see how we can use this to solve for to solve uh, to get the the energy eigenvalues, the allowed energy states in the harmonic oscillator, and the wave functions. Okay, so the way that we're going to start is we're going to um, imagine that we have a wave function that we already know that we we have a, a particular wave function psi of x, and this actually already satisfies the Schrödinger equation. Um, we imagine that this wave function satisfies the Schrodinger equation for an for a particular energy e, okay, and then uh, we're going to find out whether the um, the new function uh, a plus acting on psi, okay. Remember, a plus is an operator. When an operator acts x on a function, you just get a new function. So we have we're going to ask whether this new function a plus psi um, also satisfies the Schrodinger equation, and if so, what energy values does it have? Okay, so that's our starting point. So let's um, let's uh, let's just do the math. Okay, so we we have uh, uh, our Hamil uh, our Hamiltonian operator times uh, a plus psi. Okay, and then we if we use the um, uh, the uh, this form right here of the Hamiltonian operator so this is equal to h bar omega times um, a plus a minus plus one half okay and then we that's that's basically um, we we use we uh, that operator acts on a plus psi okay and um, and so we can rearrange the terms here and we get h bar omega times a plus a minus a plus plus one half a plus psi 